What's up guys, Joy Kong 94 and today I'm going to show you guys how to turn your room into this. Alright guys, so what I have right here are these two LED strips. It's technically four strips, but you know, two per box. Um, and yeah, this is what I got so far, so we're going to do that part first. And then when the other stuff comes in throughout the week, we'll continue then. All right, guys, so another thing you're going to need after the lights um, is a staple gun. This is the one I ordered. Um, now, mind you, the staples that came with it weren't long enough, so I had these laying around the house, but you might want to order a thing of half-inch staples um, or even inch-long staples. Uh, the glove, you don't need it or you don't need these either of these things. I just used them. The glove was to help hurt. My hand was hurting from stapling so much, and the glasses were from the drop sailing falling off into my eyes. So that was annoying me and little bits of the polyester were falling off also. So yeah, guys, staple gun. So I got 20 pounds of this polyester clouding material. Um, now, good news is it's fire retardant. Like if you take like a lighter and try to light it, it just melts. It doesn't actually ignite or light any fire. So that's really good. Um, if this looks weird, by the way, it's because I already did the entire wall before I recorded this part and the staple part. Because for whatever reason, I wasn't thinking of showing you guys that earlier um but yeah guys so now you guys know what you need uh mind you i did the entire sailing area that i wanted to do and i still have half a thing of foam so drop below in the comments if you guys think i should do the rest of the room at least this bit over here um like this also but yeah let's get into the video all right guys so this is how i originally do my lights now i do end up changing them here in a little bit in the video but i wanted to leave this clip along with some other screw ups in the video this way you guys see the mistakes i made and you don't make them yourself so yeah let's get right back to it all right guys so i got the lights all done uh i did them a little crazily we'll see how it looks i can always take them down they came with a bunch of these little clips uh i don't have any right in front of me right now but basically if they don't stick i can use these little clips to hold them up and it'll be fine um but yeah so when the foam comes in later in the week, you'll see the rest. All right, guys. So our foam has arrived. Get our box open. No, not our foam. Our, uh... Shit. <coughs> so I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna do a bigger area. I'm gonna do this whole area here. Just there's so much. Why? Why not? Um. So yeah, I'm gonna readjust the lights. I don't know where they are. They're over there. Um. I might have to use some of those little pins to help because I already stuck these. But we'll see. Let's try it. All right, guys. So let's rearrange the lights. Um. So the good thing about these lights is they're high quality. So the 3M tape on the back, you can see it sticks up with no problem. In a couple spots, I had to push it a little bit, but no big deal. And again, these particular lights did come with another little uh, hook attachment accessory that had 3M tape on the back that you kind of hook the strips every so often in. So I would have been fine either way. So yeah, I decided to rearrange my lights. I might make them a little tighter right here. Um, but also, I don't know that I will. Um, but they look like they're sticking pretty good. Um, you know, I might have to touch them in certain spots and just stick them up. But like I said, I have those little hooks that I can use if they start falling, but I don't think they will. All right, guys. So all I'm going to do is grab a nice big handful, kind of bunch it up like this. And then literally just take it. And that's it. 
just staple that moving shot of all this foam to the all over the ceiling. So let's speed it up. So the process begins, the first staples. Now don't do what I did, buy the correct staples, buy thick enough staples, and it'll make this process a lot easier and a lot faster, but you'll see what I'm talking about later on in the video. All right, guys, so we got one up so far, um, and yeah, it looks cool. Obviously, I gotta fix some spots where you can see the lights real well, but like, that looks fucking cool. That's definitely where that's it's a pain in the ass. Um, hold on. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of spreading it really thin in parts, like real thin, and then stapling it that way. That's an old staple, the one I just did worked, and that's seeming to work. So like this bit's too thick, right? But what I'll do is I'll just staple this thin bit here, and that staying, and that will hold this fluffy bit here. So yeah, guys, that's the solution. So we got one tile out of you know. Again, I'm doing all along to here, along this border, basically where the lights are. So I have to do all these up in there and then back uh, this one. I'll just go like this and move on to this so it's not as, you know what I mean? But yeah. So when you guys get close to a light, I would go around the borders. Obviously, you don't want to staple directly onto one of the lights because then it would stop working and the whole process would be pointless. So just be really careful when you get close to the lights. Um, and yeah, just... Keep going. All right, guys. So this is what I got so far. Uh, the safety goggles are just because the stuff kind of falls. Um, I don't remember if I mentioned it before. If I did, it's a little bit tricky with the drop sailing because what happens is when you push on it, the drop sailing lifts. So it's hard to get, you know, a good base. So what I've figured out that I can do is I take a big, big handful like you saw me do. And then I staple the corners of it. And then what I'm going to do is once I have the base layer, like a thin layer, I know I said I'm not going to use glue, but what I'm going to use, I think, is just a glue stick or even just like little Elmer's glue. And I'm going to glue thicker parts onto this. So basically, all of this is stapled, but like this, I'll take a big chunk and I'll put glue on it and I'll glue it to the other section. This way, I'm not putting glue on my sailing. And if it's only Elmer's glue or like a glue stick and not like the crazy glue that you normally use for this. Um, I don't think I've had any problems with fumes or anything. So it's just how much glue and little kids use that. So I think it'll be pretty good. But yeah, so, so far I got this whole section done. Um, it's a lot of work. It's tiring. I've been taking a lot of breaks. My hand hurts. I'm wearing this glove, so it's not as abrasive in my hand. But yeah, um, it's coming along and it's starting to look really cool. Uh, there's still some spots where it's thin back here that I can see the lights. I'll have to thicken up. But, like, that's what I mean. I'll, uh, I'll play with this, and I'll, I'll figure something out. But I'll keep updating you guys. Uh, I'm not going to make the video, you know, insanely long and have every three seconds recorded. Um, but I'll keep updating you. I'll probably finish what's behind me and maybe this row and then pick it up after I cover a whole section of lights. Um, but, yeah. And, by the way, I've hardly made a dent in this gigantic bag of foam. Um, I have a whole another completely full bag. So I think one bag I'll be able to easily do the area I'm doing, which means if I have enough extra, I might do the rest of the whole entire basement. But we'll see. Um, but yeah. And if you're not on my Snapchats on the screen right now, Joey Scar 99 uh, I've been posting updates on there. But obviously, this comes out. I won't be posting any updates because it'll be done. But for future projects, add it. So it's going to get a lot quicker now because somebody much smarter than me, Emily, thank you to you told me that i could use thicker staples which i happen to have and now i can do like big clumps like thickly and i don't have to fuck around with the corners so i'll be able to get this done within a few hours now it's better of a few days though my hand hurts a little bit so i'm done for the night but yeah it's not going too bad all right guys so once i got the correct length staples this whole process went way faster and way easier i ended up doing the entire room basically within two episodes of breaking bad so maybe about two hours, I was able to complete the entire rest of the room. So if I had the right staples from the get-go, let's just say the whole process might take three hours. Um, and that includes some breaks. You know, your hand's going to get a little sore. Um, today is Tuesday. My hand's fine now. It was bothering me a little bit Monday, but it's pretty much okay now. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty fun process. I would definitely um, do more in my room if you guys want me to. I don't know that I would necessarily make another video on it unless you guys want me to. If you want me to, then I will. 
Um, but yeah, I have plenty of foam to do the other section of my room that I would want to do. And then all I'd have to do is buy one to two sets of lights. So all this, by the way, came in at around under $200. I think it came in at like 180 something. Got everything you need will be right in the description for you guys to make it super simple. So click those links. Enjoy. All right, guys, and this is what you're left with. This is awesome. There's so many cool modes you can do with these particular lights. Um, you know, there's fire settings. I'll try to show them all or some of them. Uh, there's still some spots like right here. You know, I'll come back and I'll, I'll thicken it up tomorrow. I'm tired for the night, but this is the gist of it. I'll show the final results, obviously, but like, yeah, this is just fucking cool. Like, this is a vibe. Um, I definitely suggest doing this, guys. It's, it's amazing. Um, I wouldn't particularly sleep with the flashing like this. I think it'd be disruptive with your eyes closed. But let me show you some of the other modes. So this is called the universe. And when you pair this with my other lights, which hold on. Alexa, party mode. Alexa, pause music. Can't play that song, it's copyright. But yeah, if you pair it, ignore that bit that fell. But if you pair this universe mode with these lights, it just looks insane. Like, oh, especially with the the um, black lights that are right there hitting the the clouds. It just looks so cool. This mode's called Halloween. Um, there's just all kinds of cool stuff you can do with these lights. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with this. I think it came out really good. Um, there's some spots that could use some light, but I don't want it to be too much. I think it's balanced. I think it's balanced pretty well. Um, but what I could do is I could probably get other lights and put them in there and then put more clouds on top of them if I wanted to. But I think, I think this is good. What I think I'm going to do is I do think I'm going to end up doing the whole entire room or at least this whole section over here. Maybe not so much over there, but at least this whole section, all I'd have to do is buy another probably one, maybe two strands of lights for over there, and I'd be all set. And maybe some more of the polyester. All right, guys. So, yeah, it looks really, really cool. I'm really happy with how it came out. Like I said, I think I said this already twice, but there's little spots there and, like, right there and up here and here. Then I just have to thicken up the cotton or the polyester um, a little bit, and it'll look even better. Um, but yeah, I'm really with, happy with how it came out. Um, one thing I'll say too, and I'll show this tomorrow when I'm like home, but I actually took a little bit, um, and lit it on fire or try to light it on fire just to make sure. And I would suggest doing that too, before you put everything up, just take a little match or a lighter and just try to light a little bit of it on fire. I mean, have something to put it out close, obviously. All right, guys. So that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I made this video as a tutorial to show you guys how to do this, but I also left in some of the screw ups I ran into along the way to show you guys it's not that serious. Like me rearranging the lights right in the beginning was no big deal. They literally they unstuck. I restuck them. They never fell. They never came loose. It was super easy to do that. And, um, I left that in there on purpose to show you guys that, you know, you might run into some issues, but hopefully if you guys are watching this and following along with my video, then you don't have to run into those issues because I already ran into them. So make sure you buy the right staplers um, and staples. Um, you know, that's pretty much it. The only issue I really ran into is the staples. Um, and then the rearranging of the lights, the only reason I did that is because I had so much of the stuff to use. And I still have like half a bag. So um, do the math yourself. Uh, I ordered 20 pounds. You might not need that. Um I think, if I remember right, 20 pounds was 92 square feet worth of polyester, if I remember right. But I could be wrong. Um, I'm not very good at math. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you uh, cloud your wall. And if you do, let me know. Because um, that'd be really cool to see how you guys did it. All right, guys. See you guys next time. Joy Kong 94 out.